Our 2024 WWE Royal Rumble coverage brought to you by Hotel Haya, uniquely Ebor. For more, visit HotelHaya.com. And our Royal Rumble Media Day coverage begins with Chad Gable. Chad, how are you, my friend? I'm great. Wait, I'm kicking you off today? I'm, I'm your first? <laughs> yes, we're uh, kicking it off yeah, bright and early. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So first and foremost, uh, I want to ask you, how cool is it to come back, not only to Tampa, yeah. when you consider WrestleMania 36, it was half crowd, yeah. and then of course we're going back to the home of the Thunderdome, sure. and it's like, not 50,000 TV screens, it's gonna be 50,000 people. Yeah, uh, I mean, dude, it's unbelievable, and me and Otis, were, we came in late last night, and it was funny, because we were talking about that very thing, like we used to, that whole period through the COVID thing, and uh, the Thunderdome era, we would land at Tampa like we did last night, we'd do the same walk, get our rental car, the same drive over here and all this stuff. And it's, so it's like full circle to the point almost even way further back than that because Tampa is where I had my original tryout, you know, uh, at FCW. I was like the last tryout before FCW closed down. So for me, it goes even further back than that. So it's super special area and just region for me to come to. I'm very excited. Well, listen, I'm a HCC kid here in Tampa. I haven't been yeah. back in seven years. So okay. shout out to the FCW. That Sam's Club right next to it sure. is where I went to go get my hot dogs for $1.50. Okay. <laughs> so real quick, what can you give me a memory of FCW? Because now I believe it's a bounce house for kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I remember that tryout well. Um, I was very nervous, uh, much younger than I am now, but uh, uh, I was walking into a world that I was very unfamiliar with as far as um, its inner workings, you know, and what they expect of you. Uh, but I came from an athletic background that everybody knows, so like the hard work part kind of like was already built in. But I had a point to prove that weekend as the smallest guy in the tryout, uh, and I did. It was sweaty. It was hot. For those that don't know, that FCW warehouse was just essentially a box in Florida, man. So as you can imagine, in the middle of June, which is when my tryout was, uh, there was there was about 80 pounds of sweat left all over the floor in the ring that weekend, and it was it was rough, but it was good. I do have to ask you: the bigger the person, and the bigger the challenge the more excited you are to suplex them, correct? 100%. And you can ask any of my friends, you can ask Otis. Uh, going back to my amateur days, like all I ever did was practice with the heavyweights. I would always find the heavyweights and wrestle them. For, for some reason, I was gravitated towards those guys. Uh, they're just a little more fun to mess with, yeah, for some reason. <laughs> um, but it presents a challenge to me, a unique challenge that, that uh, I don't really find anywhere else on the roster. And it's become a niche for me. Like, who, who's the next guy I can throw? And I get a lot of suggestions so we're trying to climb that ladder knock everyone out till there's no one left don't add me onto the list all right final question the deal with netflix was just announced all right it's incredible netflix they make movies if i give you creative control to take some of that five billion dollars to make a blockbuster who on the roster are you doing it with? Are you doing a buddy cop movie with Alpha Academy? Like, what's the game plan here? Man, I know remakes are kind of overdone these days, but I feel like Otis and I could maybe pull off a Tommy Boy remake in one of these days, and I think we could do it well. So if anyone's producing that or writing that, you got your guys right here. We're set. We have the budget for it. Listen, Chad, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks, man.